Welcome to the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review. Here are your hosts, Jeff Hodges and UNA head football coach Chris Willis. Hello and welcome to the Chris Willis Show. I'm Jeff Hodges here in Valdosta, Georgia, where the UNA Lions defeated Valdosta State 30 to 24. It was the Lions' first Gulf South Conference win of the season. It was Coach Willis's first win as a head coach at UNA. It was the Lions' sixth straight <coughs> win here in Death Valley in Valdosta, Georgia. But Coach Willis, the, the one word synonymous through all that is a win. Yeah. And you guys were desperate for a win. You had to wait yeah. two weeks after that tough loss to open the season. How good does it feel? It feels great. You know, anytime I told these guys, anytime you get a win, celebrate it and enjoy it. You don't know when the next one's coming. You don't know how many you're going to get. And, uh, you know, man, I, I just I'm proud of these guys. They never quit. I thought there's some times we kind of tilted there in the second half, got tired. Uh, but we fought through it, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of the offense and defense and everybody hanging in there. The Lions came out clicking on all cylinders on offense. You went the length of the field on your first possession. Looked like it might be an easy night for the offense, but their defense turned it around a little bit, and then your offense had some mistakes that hurt ourselves, particularly three fumbles in the first half. Yeah, you know, last week you could kind of look at it like this. We moved the ball, but we didn't turn it over, but we hurt ourselves with penalties, and we couldn't make the kick. Tonight we moved the ball, and it was actually the turnovers that came in and replaced the penalties and the missed kicks. And so, you know, there's always something you got to work on, and uh, that's something we're going to have to work on is protecting the football. And I, I thought at halftime we easily could have been up 21-28 nothing. Uh, I thought we made it a closer game than what it should have been. You know, defensively, played lights out in the first half. I thought we put them in some bad situations at time, and they fought through, held a field goal down here on this end. It was huge. And then they come up with some turnovers here, you know. They came out a little sluggish, but we, we fought back. And, uh, you know, the, the whole mindset this week was just keep grinding and keep working and, and believe in one another, and that's what they did. UNA's had its way with Valdosta lately, winning 10 of the last 13, but it's definitely still a rivalry. And that showed in the second half, Valdosta State came back. They actually took a 24-21 lead. You got a field goal to tie it, and then a game-winning interception by Christian Taylor to put the game away. Yeah, that was huge, that interception. Then the score off of it. You know, he's a true freshman, just turned 18-year-old. Uh, he's been a big, big pickup for us defensively and plays like a senior. And, uh, you know, Dewan Smith, I saw him tonight make a lot of great plays. The one thing defensively we got to look at is we had a lot of missed tackles. We threw a lot of one-shoulder hits in there tonight, and we're bouncing off people. We got to tackle better, which we did in the first game. And, uh, I'm not sure what the case was. Maybe we were a little tired. And then offensively, once again, we've got to protect the football. And uh, almost an instant replay of week one. We're right down to the wire. Again, Valdosta State had the ball at their own one. It looked good. They were able to move the ball out. And then eventually had a potential Hail Mary at the end, but A.J. Bracey with a big interception. What, a, what an awesome punt by Joe Gurley, another true freshman. Puts the ball down there. I think it was Will Loveless, our long snapper, Loveless, got yeah. down there and uh, you know stopped it. And uh, just, uh, you know, you got to have some people step up in big times, and that's a true freshman you know, the senior long snapper uh, holding it down on the one-yard line after the punt. A huge win for the Lions, a great momentum builder. On the downside, your quarterback, uh, Blake Hawkins, left the game uh, with a concussion. You had a couple other guys that were injured, and we'll be evaluating those, but definitely some tough losses there. Yeah, we got to go back home and see everything. I think Blake's on his way to Tallahassee to get some uh, extra treatment and see exactly what it is. You know, I. I think it was a severe, pretty severe concussion. It possibly could be some backing issue there. And C.J. Sturvant, possibly an ACL, and Jalen Daniels, possibly a broken leg. So three tough ones right there in the first half. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back and talk about the first half in just a minute. There's a rhythm that flows here, from the way we live to the way we do business. It flows from the banks of the Tennessee River and echoes in the breeze, the downtown street corners, and the stereos that play pure muscle shoals gold. Since 1936, TVA Community Credit Union has been in tune with the very heart of North Alabama, watching families grow and dreams come true. North Alabama and TVA Community Credit Union, in perfect harmony. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville, and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's, where UNA shops. 
Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa, Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. My pants are sagging, braided hair. Suckers stare, but I don't care. My game ain't knowledge, my game's fear. I've no remorse, so squares beware. Color, 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 color. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, the Lions going to take a 14-7 to lead here in the first <coughs> half. We're going to look at those highlights in just a minute. But again, we talked about the efficiency on offense. It took you just four plays to score. What was clicking on that drive? You know, I thought it was just good rhythm. Uh, I thought it was good play calling by Coach Campbell and offensive lines protection. We, we really worked hard offensively uh, on, on some little things to get the run game going. I think tonight we rushed for close to 170-something yards. Listen, the offense took, took a lot of heat, okay, and, and, and they worked hard to bounce back from that 8-7 loss, and I thought they did a good job outside of the turnovers, uh, which we got to, you know, we got to protect the football. Now, us, the state followed our score with about a seven-minute drive. They got down in our, uh, deep in our territory. How big was it they missed that field goal and really sapped huge. all momentum I, from it? I, I thought it was very huge. Another great job by the – I mean, I think it was a – was it a 17-play drive, 14-something? 17. 17. That's unbelievable uh, to eat up that much clock, to drive down there and to come away with nothing. That's kind of – takes the life out of you a little bit. And uh, that was huge. I, once again, defensively, you know, what have we played? Eight quarters, and, and for about six quarters, they've been very stout. The other two, I'm not going to say were bad, but just uh, – they you know, probably lacked a little bit in those two quarters. But overall, they've been playing great. The first score we gave up tonight was not against the defense. It was a, a pass. It became a lateral. We didn't handle it well. About us to pick it up, ran in for a touchdown. All of a sudden, the game was tied. You know, I, I talked to the official on that play, and uh, I thought they did a good job. And I, I, I thought the guy hit the ball and forced it to go back. He said the ball come out back. I'm going to have to look at the film. But I thought the uh, D lineman forced that ball to go back. I, I don't know if that was the correct call. The Lions get a 14-7 lead going into the half. Rico Bruton with a short touchdown run to give the UNA the advantage. We're going to take a look at those first half highlights right now, brought to you by First Metro Bank. Lion Country, it's been 15 days since we played game two, week three, underway now. The kickoff down the middle of the field. Jackson will take it at about the six-yard line. He takes off to the right side, out around the numbers, the 30. He cuts it up around the 35. He breaks a tackle, shoved out of bounds. They're going to mark him out at the 46-yard line. A great return for Jamal Jackson. He hold. Humphrey will stand to Hawkins' right. Two wide receivers to either side of the formation. Hawkins back to pass, throws over the middle. He's got Norwood into Valdosta State territory down around the 28-yard line as well. They'll mark him. That's a TVA Community Credit Union first down near the near sideline. It's a draw. There's Humphrey running left side, right side Ooh. rather. He's got a running lane. He lowers the shoulder. That should be a TVA Community Credit Union first down. It is big first down run for Terrence Humphrey. He stands behind Hawkins in the pistol formation. In front of him is the fullback, Rodney Held. The two backs are stacked to Hawkins' right. Ball on the right hash. Hawkins turns, throws right. He's looking for Hicks at the five, four, three, two. It's going to be close. They're signaling touchdown, Lions. Well, that didn't take long. They marched right down the field behind that big offensive line. They protected passing. They paved ways running. The Lions are on the board first. First snapper is Will Loveless. Snap is good. Hold is good. Extra point. The referees say it's good. North Alabama strikes first on the game's opening drive, 13-13 on the clock. It's the good guys, the North Alabama Lions, seven, Valdosta State, nothing. He moves in motion to the left of the quarterback, Wells. Ball on the left hash, now second and five from the 34-yard line. They'll hand off to the running back, running right. He cuts it up around the right hash. He's off to the races. Touchdown saving tackle by Dorsey Norris. Germany is the back to the left of Wells. The fullback Spence goes in motion to the left side of the formation. Wells will keep it running left. Now he shifts back right. He has some running room, breaks a tackle out across the 30, finally knocked out of bounds. Is that Alabama shows blitz? Play action fake. Wells looking for the end zone again. Almost intercepted, getting in the passing lanes for North Alabama. Josh Amonfo, the outside linebacker. Amon. Eight seconds on the play clock. The snap, the hold. The kick is up, 
It appears to be good. It is no good. Wide right. The North Alabama defense gets a stop. 6.04 on the clock. It's North Alabama 7, Valdosta State nothing. 6.04 showing on the game clock in the first quarter. North Alabama 7, Valdosta State nothing. North Alabama football from their own 20 yard line. And look at Dre Hall running the ball, taking the pitch from Blake Hawkins. He picks up 10, 15 yards, a first down. That's a TVA Community Credit Union first down. And up to the right of the formation in tight. Humphrey the back to Hawkins left. He'll take the handoff running right. He cuts it up around the numbers. The 50, he's into Valdosta State territory down around the 44 yard line. Another TVA Community Credit Union first down. And actually, that's Damon Cox on the carry. Right. Running backs in not very many plays run so far in two drives. Polite in motion in the backfield. Ball deflected. That's a live a ball. Yeah. It was a lateral pass, and he can't recover it. Valdosta State has it. The Valdosta State defender will scoop and score. He's going to walk into the end zone. A tough break for North Alabama, recovering it for Valdosta State. Drew Gray out to kick. He missed a 25-yard field goal on Valdosta State's first drive. So the extra point is up, almost blocked. That's big Frank Williams busting through. The extra point is good, and we are knotted up at seven. Empty back set for Wells. Watch the design rush up the middle. Wells looking left, throwing left, ball deflected, intercepted. North Alabama with it. That's Juwan Smith. He'll take off down the right sideline. He breaks the tackle at the 40, the 35-30. He has blockers in front of him, 20. He hurdles some defenders, tripped up finally down at the eight-yard line. Have yourself a day, Mr. Smith. Clock at 20, 19, 18. Bruton takes the snap. He'll run it up the middle. He'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. And wide receiver. <laughs> The current Valdosta State defensive back. Carrera's extra point is up, and it's good. North Alabama takes a 14-7 lead over Valdosta State. 14 seconds remaining in the first half. Finish more projects with less. Lose the hose, the compressor, and gas cartridges. You don't need them. Experience total fastening freedom, brought to you by the Pro Preferred brand of nailers with Hitachi's line of 18-volt lithium-ion cordless nailers. They're powered by Hitachi's new compact 3 amp hour battery that delivers all the power you need with half the weight you'd expect. And the compact 3 amp hour batteries are compatible with all Hitachi 18 volt slide type lithium ion power tools for even more flexibility. Tool free features like depth of drive, sequential or bump fire modes, and an integrated belt hook make these Hitachi cordless finish nailers convenient to use. Hitachi's 18-volt lithium-ion cordless nailers shoot more nails per charge, deliver quick response time in between drives, and consistently set nails flush, even at an angle. They're backed by Hitachi's lifetime lithium-ion tool warranty for ultimate peace of mind. Time, a precious commodity. It marches on, ready or not. And no matter how hard we try, we can't get it back. It's important to invest your time in your most precious asset, to make time for life's big decisions. At TVA Community Credit Union, our electronic services help you spend most of your time doing things that matter most. TVA Community Credit Union, high quality for what matters most. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the coach Chris Willis show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Hey friends, I'm Gene Solix. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. And Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. 
When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying, We believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville, and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's, where UNA shops. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, the Valdosta State received the second half kickoff. They took it right down the field and tied the game. And uh, with uh, Blake Hawkins being out and some other players being injured, it was really kind of a somber time, And uh, but your team responded. Yeah, we got into the locker room at halftime with the lead. And uh, I'm going to tell you, we had a lot of tears going in the, in the locker room. It's never good to see that. No football player ever wants to see somebody else get carted off. And uh, you walk in the locker room, you've got your quarterback who's been sent off to the hospital. We don't know at the time what his status was and then you got a running back who we've been told it's possibly gone for the year and we got a defensive lineman over there with a broke leg and you know and we're just we're trying to make some uh, coaching changes and in, in, in far as x's and o's but yet we're trying to keep guys uplifted and it, you know it was a summer and it kind of affected us i thought coming out we looked very sluggish there in that drive <laughs> and i think it was affecting us it really did and the lines uh have Rico Bruton step in, rushes for 79 yards and two touchdowns in the second half, but really just the entire team. Once Valdosta State took that 24-21 lead, you answered immediately to tie the game with a field goal. That was huge, and then you got the interception to take the lead. You know, uh, I can't be, i tell you what, Rico Bruton come in and did a fantastic job. And you know, I, I, Here's the thing about it, that series that Blake got hurt on, I'd already told Stebman on the headset where we're going to come with him next series. I wanted him to get in the game tonight. We were actually going to play him tonight. Uh, I hated it came in the way that it did, but I mean, you're talking about a guy who just stands over here and he waits his turn. He never complains. Probably between him and Blake and our kicker, some of the hardest working kids on the field, they come over every day and put in the time. And I'm proud of him, man. He came in there and led the team down and got it the victory. And that's that's what we need out of our backup quarterback. And it had to be good to see Chandler Carrera make his first field goal of the season. On the downside, Valdosta broke them and blocked the, the extra point that really gave them a chance to still have a chance to win the game. Yeah, you know, that was uh, back of my mind. I, you know, I'm sitting there, we got beat by one the week before, you know, a couple weeks ago. And then I'm sitting there thinking, don't let this happen again. So I'm not sure. I have to watch on film. I'm not sure what exactly happened on that. Was it a low kick or was that Valdosta? We're going to take a look at the second half highlights now, brought to you by First Metro Bank. Over on the left side, it looks like Austin Leach is the single set. Two backs stacked to the left of Wells. Now the tight end, Spence, moves to the right of the formation. Wells will throw on first down. He's got his wide receiver, Tyson, wide open on the right side of the field. Another first down for Valdosta State. Blazers counter with Ron Johnson, the big 5'11", 205 running back coming in. Out of the shotgun formation, Wells will run to the left. Wells has a lane. He'll trot it in the end zone. Valdosta State scores on their opening drive of the second half in under four minutes. And hold, the extra point is up on the way. They signal good. We have a tie ball game, 14 to 14, 11 3 showing on the clock in the third quarter. Same formation, three wide receivers right, a single set left. Cox is the back to the left. Heavy pressure, and Bruton's going to take off with it. He's got the first down across the 50, cuts it out left. At the numbers at the 40, he's finally wrapped up a TVA Community Credit Union first down. Three wide receivers going left to right on the right side. Cox. On the play fake, it's Bruton throwing. He's got Austin Hicks. He's at the 10, the 5. He's dragging defenders. Look at Austin Hicks, the big six foot three, 230-pound wide receiver, dragging players with him into the goal line. He'll be isolated to the right of the formation. Jumbo package for North Alabama. Tanner Fink, the tight end to the right of the formation. Bruton will run it right. He cuts it up. Is he into the end zone? He is. Touchdown, Lions. Boy, that is just a huge confidence builder for Bruton to get in the end zone. Lions take the lead. A break. Chandler Carrera on to kick the extra point. His third attempt of the night. It is up. They signal it's good. North Alabama reclaims the lead. It's 21 to 14. First and 10 for the Blazers from the North Alabama 18. Let's move it into the red zone. Adam Rubel still in at quarterback. He's airing it out for the end zone. His first pass is a completion and a touchdown. He has his wide receiver, Deshaun Blair, in the left corner of the end zone. He missed from this range earlier today from straight away. That kick is up and good. We're tied up at 21. In fact, Peavy may be making his first appearance at North Alabama. Bruton under pressure, looking for Peavy, and it's intercepted. The Valdosta State defender takes it from Peavy, makes a move down the right sideline, a big block, and he's tripped up at the five-yard line. 
It's close to the two yard line. We'll call it one and three fourths yards to go. Johnson behind Rubles takes it running right up the no middle. Good. And he's stuffed. Look at North Alabama defense. That's Josh Amonfo leading the charge. Andrew Gray from the right side of the field. Five seconds on the play clock. He's got to hurry. This will be about a 20 yard chip shot. It is up and it is through the uprights. Your new score. It's Valdosta State 24, North Alabama 21. Hicks standing at the 40 yard line on the left side. Bruton dropping back to pass. He's looking right. He's got Alex Norwood wide open. He's got the first down answer him at the 20. Cuts back towards the numbers 15. He's finally hit. He'll fall down around the 10 yard line for the tie. Loveless's snap is good. Carrera's kick is up. It's right down the middle. We have ourselves a tied ball game. 24-24, 8-12 remaining in the contest. Ball on the left hash. Play action fake. He's looking downfield, scanning his reads. He's an interception. Christian Taylor with it at the 30, 25. He's down the far boundary. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Lions! He threw it right to Christian Taylor. It's blocked. Oh. The extra point attempt is blocked. North Alabama, however, reclaims the lead. It's 30 to 24, 7.51 remaining. Game clock approaching four minutes. Bruton looking to throw. He's going to air this one out long, looking for Alex Norwood, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted by the Blazers. That's John Marvin. Christian Taylor walks up in the A gap and drops back. Rubles under pressure, throws underneath to Germany, who falls as he makes the grab out of the backfield, and the Blazers might have. Ball in the middle of the field, Bruton out of the gun. He'll hand off to Cox. No, he'll keep it. He's going to try to stretch this, stay in bounds. He cuts it up around the numbers. He'll tiptoe up the sideline. He picks up the TVA Community Credit Union first down. Block that punt chance coming from the few Valdosta State fans left, and this is a beauty, a high spiraling kick. Can Loveless get it? Well, Loveless oh, counts oh, it on the oh, one oh, yard oh, oh, line. How about that beautiful high hanging punt? The coverage is great. Will Loveless right there to put it down at the one. Three man rush coming for North Alabama, two wide receivers to each side. Four seconds on the play clock. Rubles has got to hurry. Two, one. He takes the snap. He steps up under pressure, throwing middle of the field. He has his wide receiver. Making the catch is Jamarcus Tyson. He'll be brought down at the 25-yard line. Christian Taylor's coming on the blitz as well. Jalen Daly grabbed by the collarbone. Rubles will air it out for the end zone. It'll come up short. Intercepted by North Alabama. The far side, that's A.J. Bracey sealing this one away. And the Lions come out victorious here in Valdosta. My pants are sagging, braided hair. Suckers stare, but I don't care. My game ain't knowledge, my game's fear. I've no remorse, so squares beware. Color, 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 color. Hey friends, I'm Gene Solix. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh, off-the-pit barbecue, along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports, where the food matters, in historic downtown Florence. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the coach Chris Willis show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. 
There's a rhythm that flows here, from the way we live to the way we do business. It flows from the banks of the Tennessee River and echoes in the breeze, the downtown street corners, and the stereos that play pure muscle shoals gold. Since 1936, TVA Community Credit Union has been in tune with the very heart of North Alabama, watching families grow and dreams come true. North Alabama and TVA Community Credit Union, in perfect harmony. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, our Brink Apartment uh, player of the game, quarterback Rico Bruton, who came off the sidelines, 12 carries for 79 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, he also threw for 87 yards and uh, really led three uh, scoring drives there at the end of the game uh, to get UNA back in to get this 30 to 24 win. Yeah, I mean, what can you say? Your backup quarterback, he stood on the sidelines the first football game, didn't get a snap. We were planning on playing him tonight, and uh, I hated he had to come under that cir circumstance, but. He came in and, you know, yeah, did he miss a few throws and a few reads? Yeah, that's going to happen. He's a backup quarterback who hadn't played until tonight. And uh, I can't, I'll tell you what, man, we rallied behind him and I, he didn't act like he, he'd been, you thought he'd been playing all year. He, uh, he never seemed like he was nervous. He came in and very calm and couldn't be prouder of him, man. I, I'm so happy that uh, he, he got the opportunity to come in tonight and lead us to victory. Rico Bruden, our Brink Apartment player of the game. Coach Willis, talk about what a physical game this was and, and just the toll of the humidity. A lot of guys with cramps and, uh, you know, every other play, somebody's down on the field. A lot of guys, both sides. I saw a lot of those guys go down and you got the three major injuries and we had guys that were going in and out with cramps. You know, and, and it is, it's a little bit, the humidity is a little different here than it is back home, but this is not typically the weather down here. Uh, my wife's mother lives down here, and they actually say they, this is cool weather to them, you know, so it's a little warmer for us because back home it's been really cool. So, uh, yeah, it's just I, we're in great shape. I just think it's just a tough football game, and emotions ran high, and it just it was a battle to the end, and I thought we, we hung in there and, and held on for the victory. This is a win you needed. It was a Gulf South Conference game. It's obviously an in-region game. So now you're off to a 1-0 start in the conference, and you got West <coughs> Alabama coming in next weekend. And they're a team with a lot of firepower and offense and can score some points. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm telling you, I, I'm not sure they're not going to be the best team we've played up to this point outside of even Texas and Commerce. I, I, I saw them a little bit against Sanford. Uh, that was a close game, FCS team. And Coach Gillen's got a really good program going over there. They, they fly around on defense. It's going to be probably our toughest task up to this point. Lions again, like I said, a big uh, Gulf South Conference game coming up at West Alabama, and uh, hopefully the weather will be good for this one. We've had weather uh, <laughs> situations the last two weeks, but being back home at Brawley Stadium is going to be big for you guys as well. Yeah, you know, anytime you can play home in front of the home crowd, and we should now get on a regular schedule. Uh, man, I can't wait just to get on a normal schedule, and here we go, and start getting in a rhythm and play some football. The UNA Lions with 324 total yards in the game. You rushed for 173. Pass for 151, but again, the crucial thing, uh, five turnovers, and you definitely want to work on that in the week. Yeah, you, you know, I thought defensively we did a good job creating turnovers, but on the side ball, we cannot turn the ball. I thought that was the difference in the game. I really think that's why we played a close game down to the end. If we hold on to the football, we should have walked out here with a two or three score victory. Thank you for being with us again uh, this week on the Chris Willis Show. UNA Lions at home on Saturday, September 23rd against West Alabama. Kickoff at 6 o'clock at Brawley Stadium. It's going to be band day. A lot of exciting things going on. Hope to see you there. Join us again next time for the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review.